What's up guys, it's one week up here back with another video review and in front of you I have here a special car. This is a Ford Mustang EcoBoost Premium Convertible. So the different trim levels that Ford offers, they have the EcoBoost, the base model, then there's the EcoBoost Premium, this is the Premium Convertible, and then there's also the Bullet, the Shelby. GT350R, GT500, and of course another popular Mustang is the GT. So this is the EcoBoost which has a four cylinder and one of the main differences you can differentiate this Mustang from the GT is that it doesn't have the 5.0 badge right there on the side by the door and also there's no GT logo on the back. And as you can see, nice rear tail lights. I love how the Mustang, they still kept their classic tail lights with the three stripes going down on each side. And I love how when you turn your turn signals on, the last, the, sorry, the lights flash in the sequential order. So this has a small lip spoiler in the back, antenna for the radio. Five spoke rims that go nice. These two tone rims that Mustangs have, I do like it. They contrast well with the paint of the car, no matter what color you have. And this is the black that we have right in the hair. Soft top convertible. But overall, I mean, the Mustang, it looks great. It looks aggressive, sporty. It's a nice sports car. I do like that the vents that they have going across the hood as well. And just the front face of it, the grill, the LED lights, it just looks great overall. The car has a nice stance. I like how the hood is long and it feels great to drive. So, walking towards the car, this being the premium EcoBoost, you do get remote start as well and also keyless entry. So you do have a little perforated on the handlebar right here that you can lock and unlock the car to open it. Give me guys a look at the interior. It looks pretty nice in here. I do like the old style shifter that they have. It is more reminiscent of a manual shifter. Even though know, this is the automatic, you can get this car in manual as well. So now stepping into the Mustang. Old style parking brake cool to have and a nice red start button classic Ford chirps so steering wheel you have the logo for the famous with the Mustang nicely leather wrapped steering wheel now this being the EcoBoost uh, premium you do get a 8.4 inch screen which is nice to have. This comes with heated and cool seats. Another great thing. And dual zone climate control. Let me turn on the AC so it doesn't blow in the camera. Yeah, like I said, a light, this is a nice shifter. I love it. Easy to grab onto. Style is kind of vintage. I do like that about it as well. Old, well, these are unique knobs. They're not really old fashioned, but they do look really cool with this car. Now, as far as the way everything's designed and laid out, it looks, you know, pretty straightforward. You know, you have nice three big vents up here. I do like how you can turn the vents to any direction you want and you can close them like that as well, which is nice. But, yeah, overall, I mean, I do like what they did. With the car, the design that they had, you know, it's cool, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Two cup holders, 
USB port, 12 volt power outlet. Now, not the most space when it comes to storage, but you're not really looking to get a lot of storage with a sports car. But you do have a little bit of space right here, 12 volt power outlet, and another USB port. Nice grab handles to grab the door. This is a bigger door than your average sedan would have because this only has two doors. So this isn't a sedan, so the doors are gonna be bigger and longer. So it's nice to have this handle to be able to grab and close the door. Nice speakers. This also being the premium EcoBoost model, you do get more speakers in this trim of the car. So I'm gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna show you guys the engine of this car. You get those two beeps when you leave the car with the key in your pocket. All right, so opening up this engine, this is a really big hood. But anyways, this is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that gives you 310 horsepower and over 320 foot pounds of torque. So this engine for a four cylinder the turbo gives you plenty of power and is actually much more than I expected from a base engine. You have more than enough to get you going and moving around. Now, if you are looking for more power, obviously there is the GT version of this car, which is equipped with a 5.0 liter V8 with over 460 horsepower, which is definitely more than enough. Yeah, I mean, I've been quite surprised. I've driven the GT a couple times, and that is plenty fun to drive, especially with its V8 and that exhaust note that you get with with it. But this one actually moves pretty well. So back inside the Mustang, let me give this car a couple revs. I you guys will be able to hear it. But you definitely do hear that turbo, and the engine does rev nicely. So, yeah, back inside the Mustang. Cruise control settings right here to reset. Audio controls on the left part of the steering wheel. These controls are to navigate the center screen, your info pages and all that good stuff. Automatic lights, nice to have. Automatic windows down up on both sides. And this is actually for the rear window so you can pull that up and down if you like and it does operate it for both sides another thing i love about ford cars is that you have the option to tilt the headrest forward to adjust it so one thing i noticed in, in some vehicles the headrest would be in a stationary position so you can only adjust it up and down but i am glad that ford gives you the option to tilt it backwards so that it's not constantly pushing my head forward yeah, I mean, these are great seats, heated and cooled. Awesome to have. Glove box right there. Mustang plaque on the passenger side. You know, soft touch materials up here. Here's gonna be all plastic. But, you know, yeah, definitely a nice car. Now, one of the main reasons you're gonna buy a convertible is obviously to put the top down. So, to operate that function you pull this lever you twist it and then you hold this button so the windows come down it pops back and I was never a big fan of convertibles until I actually drove one uh, a couple months ago and it's actually really nice to be on the highway to have the roof down you feel so open and out and it just makes the driving experience so much different and another great thing about the Ford Mustang that I love is that this car offers plenty of different driving configurations so what I mean by that is you do have your normal drive and sport mode like you would get in most vehicles but you do have another switch right here that gives you options to change the car into multiple other driving modes besides basic sport so what I mean is, is that when you lift this knob up you have your normal mode 
you have your Sport Plus, which is a little bit more aggressive than Sport. When you put it in track mode, the traction control comes off. There's also a drag strip mode, which is interesting. And you also have a snow and wet mode. And not only do you have the option to configure the driving mode into multiple configurations, you also have the option to change the steering as well. So you could put the steering in normal, sport, or comfort. So that's one thing I love about Mustang. You have multiple, uh, sorry, Ford in general, you have multiple driving configurations for your, your driving mode that you want to go with. So I'm gonna give you guys a look at the car with the roof down. You know, it gives the car a nice character look. I definitely think soft, soft roofs, soft top convertibles, should I say, look much better with the roof down. So definitely, you know, a great looking car. The black on um, black with the black rims look excellent. Another great thing about the Ford Mustang is these LED headlights that it has. I feel like they look very great on this car. And I mean, overall, it's definitely a great car. It's fun to drive. It's not crazy expensive. And you do get a great amount of power for under 40K. So if you're ever thinking about getting a Ford Mustang and you don't want to spend too much money on, let's say, the GT with a loud V8 and worse gas mileage, this EcoBoost Premium is an excellent option for you. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.